परम शांति इन फाइनाइट सुप्रीम पीस टू ऑल द डिवाइन सोल्स एंड सैलिटेशन टू आर बिलविड ब्रह्म एंड बापू जी वेलकम यू ऑल टू बापू जी दर्शित भाई पटेल यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज द ट्रांसलेटेड वीडियो ऑफ बापू जी इन इंग्लिश अबाउट द फिक्सड एरियाज ऑक्यूपाइड बाई गोस्ट एंड स्पिरिट्स अनंत भैया सेस परम शांति इन फाइनाइट सुप्रीम पीस बापू जी बापू जी माई क्वेश्चन टू यू इज आर देर एरियाज फॉर गोस्ट डू दे स्टे इन दियर ओन एरियाज डू दे क्रॉस दैट एरिया एंड गो समवेयर एल्स आई वॉन्टेड टू नो वेन डू दीज गोस्ट लीव दियर पर्टिकुलर एरिया एंड इफ अदर सोल्स वेदर गोस्ट और स्पिरिट्स कम टू दियर एरिया डू दे हैव एनी फाइट्स सो टेन मी इफ देर आर सम एरियाज लाइक एक्सीडेंट पॉइंट्स वेर स्पेसिफिकली If any person goes there he feels the presence of ghosts and as soon as he comes out of that area he immediately feels relaxed so i'm curious to know a little bit from you about the area of ghosts papu ji says param shanti today we will talk about the area of ghosts is there an area for ghosts yes ghosts also live in their separate areas due to living in separate areas they cannot go to other areas just like dogs have their own area if a dog will go to another dog's area then he will be harmed by other dogs by barking similarly ghosts and spirits also do not allow ghosts of other areas to come into their area even when it is a very large group they fight with the ghosts of other areas ghosts of one area fight with ghosts of the other area they become ghosts and spirits because they are lustful angry and greedy This is why ghosts become ghosts. Which human soul become ghosts and spirits? Who has been in human life for many births and has been having very vices like lust, anger, greed, attachment, ego, and spends his entire life in a vicious life. When he leaves his body, he will go to that destination based on his last thoughts in the intellect, which is called antmati sogati. His subtle body. causal body is filled with all this so all these bodies are filled with attachment hatred anger jealousy so these ghosts and spirits when they die in their own areas they cannot go to anyone else's area they have a specified area like a house even in someone's house someone dies four or five ghosts of ancestors are sitting there sometimes ghosts of other religions also come in the houses of hindus then those ghosts throw out the ancestors too and then in the same house these other religion ghosts be it christian or muslim be it kabir pant or ghosts of different religions they enter the houses of the hindus then in their houses christian muslim kabir panti or different religion spirits take birth in the houses of these hindus and throw out their ancestors so where will those poor people ancestors go wandering those poor people who are poor ancestors then they go to the temples and do penance they go to different temples it has been seen that ghosts are found in many houses ghosts who are not in the path of dharma which is the right way of living and performing one's duty are entering the houses of hindus and taking birth in many places this is happening a lot in many areas similarly there are 10 15 20 ghosts on many trees If there is a big banyan tree then a ghost lives on every leaf if the tree is big there'll be at least 500 ghosts residing in it and they do not let anyone else enter the banyan tree then at night they all come out and then go to the area of small ghosts they eat them and then harass them one ghost eats another ghost if the ghost is powerful it eats smaller ghosts just like a big fish eats smaller fish it's the same way with powerful ghosts there's a full video of mine on ghosts and spirits but in that i have not gone into much too details there are many different categories of ghosts like you know that women ghosts who are witches the ones with demonic traits there are different groups of witches the other witches do not even get along with the other group many of them have dangerous nature There are many types of ghosts like there are some witches if they are dangerous then the ghosts and spirits of different categories live in different groups 
so it's a simple thing just like a human being has to go to different countries if a person from one country goes to another country he has to take permission he has to take visa similarly a ghost also when he goes to another area he has to take permission from the other area he cannot go without permission when a ghost lives in an accident area then he'll have a limited area if a person goes to that area then he will have his rule so ghosts there can trouble that person but as soon as this area is over then it belongs to other ghosts so its effect on man ends then other ghosts of the other area also have an effect on man there are many dangerous things in this subtle world ghosts enter into the human beings sometimes around 20 to 25 can enter at once and damage the subtle body of the human being by putting their influence on human body it eats and drinks whatever he wants he keeps eating and drinking so through the human body it fulfills its desires of the next birth by entering they fulfill many such desires so like this there are many such things to say about ghosts and spirits param shanti infinite supreme peace Join us daily for our morning live meditation Monday to Saturday 5:30 to 6:30 a.m. Join us daily for live meditation 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. on YouTube live subscribe now website www.paramshanti.org email us anand at paramshanti.org like share subscribe join today